Good morning, coach. Good morning, friends. I uh, hope everyone is doing well. Um, so today we have uh, Coach Deepak goes to the workout. Uh, so we need uh, dumbbells, we need band, um, and we need uh, kettlebell, and of course the bench. So we'll start with some uh, basic uh, uh, mobility. So just go into lunge position with your knees, with one knee on the ground. Just go to lunge position with one knee on the ground. Just push your hip forward, slightly forward, just slightly forward, and then back, slightly back. One, two, three, four, five. Push as forward as possible and slightly back. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, other side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yes, try to keep your body stable, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, now slowly go to child pose, from child pose, go to cobra. Pulley up, pulley up, and then back. One. This five times. Up. Two. Three. Come up. Four. One more. And five. Come to four point position. Watch the knees. Knees are right below the hips. Palms are right below the shoulders. Very important. Toes are dug into the ground. Toes are dug into the ground. Just lift your knees off the ground. Just lift your knees off the ground. Just feel your core for 30 seconds there. Just hold the position for 30 seconds. See to that your knees are right below the hips. Rashida, ma'am, try to bring your Knees a little more forward. It should be right below the hips. It should be right below the hips. 15 seconds up. 15 more seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Now walk back into plank position there. Take one step back and then come back into back row. One. Very slow and steady. Two, three, yes, drop your hip down. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now go on elbow plank. Go on elbow plank. All right, now extend your hands forward. Just one hand forward and hold. Extend one hand as far as possible and just hold for 15 counts. One, two, three, without tilting the hip. Sanjay Ramakrishna, sir, keep down facing. Four, yeah, challenge yourself. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 30, 14, 15, other side. 1, 2, 3, 4. Ashok said, extend forward. 5, 6, try to outreach, friend. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now go to side plank rotations. Go to side plank. One and back. Two and back. Three. More in control. When you rotate, try not to collapse. Four. Five. Very good. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 
one more and ten. Now stay in elbow plank. Bring your knee to the elbow. Just watch the exercise. Knee to the elbow. One and other side. Two. Try to get your knee as close to the elbow as possible. Three. The challenge is to try to keep your hip a little lower. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Middle and Madam Kiplor. Nine. One more. And ten. Now come up. Okay. A deep squat. Full slow. Full deep squat. About ten times. Fully down and then up. One. Try to sink your hip down. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Up, take the bank, wear it around your ankles. Take the bank, wear it around the ankle. All right. Okay. So take a Swiss ball. Hold up. Hold the Swiss ball up in the air. As high. Try to not bend the elbows. And one leg just pulse behind. Just pulse for 30 seconds and feel the glutes. Just pulse for 30 seconds and feel the glutes. Okay. So want you to really open up. And then without bending the knees. Just pulse the glutes. All right. For about... 30 seconds each side. In three, two, one, go. Keep going. One, two, three, four. Keep your knees straight. Five, six, seven. No arch in the spine. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Street it, sir. Upper body stable. Sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 10 more, 10. Keep your knees straight, friends. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Other side. 1. Don't, do not drop the ball down. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, Srinathar, ball stable. Nine, ten, eleven, Srinathar, twelve, thirteen, stable, fourteen, the ball, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Kiran sir, do not bend forward. Twenty-six, keep your body stable. Yeah, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. 30. Now, where the mat is poking, sorry, around the knees, go to back crawl with the elbows on the ball. Back crawl with the elbows on the ball. The elbow should be on the ball. Just watch. Okay. Just push the band slightly out, slightly out. So you feel the glutes. That is your starting point. See to that the knees are right below the hips. Very important for the knees to be right below the hip. All right, now slightly move your elbows forward and back. Only the elbows, only the elbows. The knees are where they are, yeah. As far as possible, okay? We'll do this for a minute. We'll start in three. So the elbows do not, I mean, the knees do not move. You're in back roll, only the elbows go forward and back. All right, watch everyone again, friends. The knees are right below the shoulder. The hips slightly push the band out, so you feel the glutes, just the elbows forward and back. If you can't do that, just hold this position and practice. If you're a newcomer, if you're struggling, just try to stay there. We'll start in five, four, three, two, and one. The time has started. Keep going. For a minute, forward and then back. More in control. 
Let's say, ma'am, you need to push a little more forward. Push the yeah, and elbows a little more forward. Yes, do not go down. Stay there, friends. Do not put too much of weight uh, on the ball from the shoulders. So, Chandrika, madam, try to get your knees a little bit, a little bit more below your hips. Chandrika, madam, keep going. Thirty seconds up. Only halfway there. Chandrika, madam, your knees should come right below your hips. Shraddha, come on. 40 seconds up, 20 more seconds to go. Come on. 15 more seconds to go. Keep going, friends. Keep going. Rudala, madam, we are very good. Hold that. So stay. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right. Uh, Lie on the back. Lie on the back. The ball on the the, the heel on the swivel ball. The heel on the swivel ball. All right. Uh, keep the knees bent. Keep keep the knees bent. Keep keep the knees bent. All right. So what's this uh, uh, workout, friends? So just basic half bridge position. Okay. Heel on the swivel ball. Lift the hip up. Okay. Stay there. Now stay there. Okay, now slowly push your knees out and in. Oh, no, no, knees out and in. Yeah, one, two, relax. So basically, half bridge position, heel on the Swiss ball. You lift your hip up, see to that. Your lower back is not sinking into the ground. You're recruiting your glutes so that you maintain the trust. And there you push your knee out and in. Okay, feeling your glutes. We do this for a minute. The challenge here is not to come down, do not collapse. All right, we'll start in three, two, one, go. Hip up as high as possible. Sanjay Ramakrishna sir, yeah, give, give that little more trust. Now push your knees slowly out and in. Yeah, you have to lift as high as possible, friends. And push your knees out and in. Shilpa madam, not knees forward and back. Knees out and in. Pulsing, knees out and in. Shilpa madam, yeah. Yeah, in half bridge, yeah. There you pulse out and in. Do not push the ball forward and back. The ball is where it is, friends. Just your knees push out and in. That's it. 32 seconds up. Keep going. Your ball is where it is. You're just the knees are going out and in. You're feeling the glutes. 15 more seconds to go. Keep going. See to that your hip is not collapsing now. You're maintaining that height from the ground. 10 more seconds to go. 5, 4, Three, two, and one. All right. Now, again, come on the elbows with the ball. Put the elbows in the ball. Come to plank position. Come to plank position. First, watch the exercise. Okay. Single knee to the ball. Single knee to the ball and like a pendulum. And then extend your feet towards the ceiling. Like bend like a pendulum. Yeah. And then stabilize. Yeah. And then up. You put the challenge here is see to this friend. Yeah. It's here. Bend here. This is important. The more you bend, you'll be the hamstring, not here. So very important. It's like this. From here goes, touches, and then up here. You have to, your knees have to come up without touching the spine. That's when you'll keep the hamstrings and glutes. Again, go and then come up. All right. 30 each side. Okay. We'll start in three, two, one, go. One, two, three, slow and stable. Four, five, very good. Six, seven, eight, nine. Come on, Deepak. Ten. Deepak, try to stabilize the ball. 12. Sanjay sir, come on. 13. Do not go down till you finish, sir. 14. 15. 16. Srini sir, put facing up. 18. 19. Sarvadir madam, come on. 20. Come on, come on. 21. 22. 23. 24. Srini sir, 25. The foot should up the ceiling. 26 like a pendulum. Watch, watch. 27. 28. 
28, 29, and 30. Other side in three, two, one, go. One, two, when you come in, three, slow, four, very good. Do not go down, come on, five. Great exercise for glutes and hamstrings and core. Six. Monika ji, come on. Seven. Up, up, up. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Come on, David. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sushma, madam. Sixteen. Come on. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, Sanjay sir, come on, 28, 29, Ravindra Kirpane, come on, 30, all right. Okay, now, one point is the band. Our friends will not switch on the camera if possible. Switch on the camera. Okay. So single leg like squat into multi climber. Right. Into the band. Okay. So what's this, friends? So it's a basically a single leg squat. Okay. Go down as much as possible. Challenge yourself. Go down as much as possible. Now first is going down. Okay. And then walk forward. Walk your palms forward. Do a push up. Do a push up, then come back and sit back. Come back and stand up. Sit, 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 push back. And then up and then hop. Slow hop. One. All right. We'll do this for a minute each side. Even if you do six reps, good enough. Okay, we'll do this for a minute each side. First is again one, one more demonstration, other side. Go down. So the challenge here is go sleeper is not trying to touch the ground first. Stand up better. What you're doing is you're trying to go down first. The challenge is to go down. And then when you can't go down further, then you touch your palms to the ground. Then walk forward. Then do a push-up. Then again here, you sit back. You sit back. Bend your knees as much as possible. And then stand. If hopping is a problem, you can just stand. That's it. And then hop. All right. A minute each side. We'll start in three, two, one, go. Your time has started. Finish walk. One side, one minute, and then other side. Finish one side. Take your time. Even if you do five reps, it's okay. But definitely, uh, would want all of us to challenge ourselves to go down and you know do it very patiently, and then hop. Fifteen seconds up. Keep going. Ravi sir, try to take your chest down and not arch your spine. Ravindra sir, okay. Do not. The spine is bending when you do a push up. Okay. Try to keep it. Ravindra sir, exactly what you're doing is you're trying to reach down. You're trying to reach down by touching your palms. I want you to sit down first as if you're sitting on a chair. When you sit on a chair, you're not reaching for the ground. You're trying to sit down. You're trying to get it loose to touch the ground. Sit down first. Ravindra sir, sit down first. Yeah. And now, yeah. You can't go further down and then you touch. 15 more seconds to go. Keep going. Keep going. 15 more seconds to go. Try to sit back as much as possible, friends. Five, four, three, two, and one. Other side. Other side. We'll start. Your time has started. Other side. Keep going. Walk your palms forward. Press your palms firmly to the ground. And take your chest close to the ground. Prashlamam, excellent. Good one. Priyanka, madam, good one. Basarat, sir, excellent. Good job. Three hits, sir. Very good. Patience. Patience. Remember, friends, slow and steady. Don't be in a rush. One movement at a time. Sudhana, madam. Good job. Good going. You know, madam, sit back. Sit back. Sit back. Yeah. And then stand up. Good job, Shilpa. 30 seconds up. After there. Shruti madam, take your chest down. When you go for a push-up, try to take your chest down. Shruti sir, take your chest down. Very good. Very good. Good job, Shikar. Come on, David. Good one. Go in, sir. Come on. Ten more seconds to go. Sandeep Sakra says, slow and steady. Five, four, three, 
two, and one. All right. We'll check with Coach Zipa. We're going to feel warmed up. <laughs> we'll do warm up, friends. So the next um, 35, 40 minutes, we'll do a main workout. Okay, the first one, take it with what? This was a workout first. You need a dumbbell and a Swiss ball. You need both here. If you don't have a dumbbell, you can do it with a kettlebell. Lie down the back, keep the dumbbell next to you. Okay. Uh, lie, down, lie down the back. Okay, take the take the take the ball. Yeah, take the ball and put it around an ankle. Watch the exercise first. Yeah, put it around the ankle. Lift the ball up. Squeeze the ball hard here. Yeah. Just sixty degrees. Here, sixty degrees. Squeeze the ball as hard as possible. Take the take the dumbbell. Come to slight crunch position. Okay, and then press up. Slight crunch position. One, two. All right, relax. Okay. Um, if you want, you can use dead ball also. Whatever. If you have a kettlebell, you can press in both the hands. Or so the ball you have to press as as hard as possible. All right. We'll start in three. The challenge is to be in crunch position, slightly crunch up. Yeah, slightly crunch up, and then press up. In ball a little more lower. Right? Ball a little more lower. Little more lower. Yeah, that's the challenging position. Come to crunch position and press up. We'll start in three, two, one. Go for a minute. Slow and steady. Keep going for a minute. Keep keep pressing up. Keep pressing up. Sanjay Ramakrishna said the ball can come down a little more lower. Yeah. And keep your knees straight. If you keep your knees straight, yeah. The challenge is to keep the knees straight and squeeze the ball. And slightly stay in a crunch position and keep pressing. If you can't do it in a dumbbell, do it in a kettlebell or dead ball. And keep breathing out from crunch position. You are in crunch position all the time. Shrini said, good one. Shrini said, you have to take the ball and keep it between your ankles. That is what is going to make it challenging. Shruti, madam, try to get the ball a little more lower. It's a little too high. Okay, come on, David. Up, 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 up. 30 seconds up, friends. Just up. Up with it. Sanjay, sir, come on. Up. Quickly up. Squeeze the ball hard. Stay in crunch position. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep breathing out. Keep breathing out. Shilpa, madam. Excellent. Prabhakar, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Keep your knees straight. Keep going, keep going. 10 more seconds to go. 10, 9. Sanjay, sir, come to crunch position. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right. Ready for the next one? Pick up the kettlebell. No, actually, pick up the spear and the dumbbell. Pick up the dumbbell. Yeah, pick up the dumbbell. Okay. Up near the shoulders, as I can. Up near the shoulders. Right. Yeah, basically, here. Yeah. Okay. Up. One. Up. Two. All right. One. Is it too heavy? Yeah. Okay. Or you can do it with the dead ball. Okay, do it with dead ball. Or the smaller dumbbells. Dead ball or smaller dumbbells. Okay. 15 reps each side. One. Extend back. All right, we'll start. Relax. Okay. We'll do this 15 repetitions each side. Okay, in three, two, one, go. One. And extend leg back into three leg loops. And then it goes up. Two. And extend back. Up. Three. And extend back. Feel the glutes. Up. Four. And extend back. Up. Five. And extend back. Up. Six. Seven. Try to raise your knee as high as possible. Eight. Use your reflexes. Nine. Ten. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, one more, 15, other side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 
extend, extend back. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, one more without touching the spine, 15, all right. We'll go back to the previous exercise with the ball. Squeeze the ball in between your ankles. Keep breathing out. Every time you press it down the lap, breathe out, friends. Breathe out from the mouth. Breathing out the mouth is a lot more easier. Inhalation is always from the Nose exhalation is always from the mouth. All right. We'll start for a minute in three, two, one, go. So you have to press so hard, even when something comes and hits, the ball will go. When something comes and hits, the ball will go down. Okay. Keep pressing. Use your core and flexors. Do not bend the knee here. See to that the knee is not bent. The knee is straight, locked here. So that your reflex has come in the picture. This is a great exercise for pain around the groin. Okay, people with pain around the groin, around our letters. It's a great exercise. Even people without pain, this will prevent just the squeezing out there. Okay, keep going. 35 seconds up. Stay in crunch position. The entire body is working. When the entire body is working, it becomes that more challenging. Okay, keep going. 10 more seconds. 10. Nine, keep pressing the ball. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right. So, um, while you take a break before we start the exercise, let's take this one. So, first is doing this when doing this exercise, neutral pelvis is important. Okay, standing neutral. So there's no point, you know, standing like this. You just stand neutral. Okay, neutral pelvis is just push your pelvis forward and back, and then that's fine. So this this is neutral pelvis. You feel your glutes here. Even while running, you need to maintain neutral pelvis. The moment this happens, the moment this happens, your spine arches, and then your lower back gets impacted. So try to maintain neutral pelvis here. Okay, this is neutral pelvis. So as you move, your pelvis remains neutral. Your spine doesn't get arched. Yeah, just the gluteal movement. So when you do this. Do not arch your spine, bend the spine. Just the leg has to move, nothing else. Like a pendulum, up and then back. This movement is very important. Your heel should be in line with the knee joint. Only then your glutes and hamstrings come to the picture. If it is here, then unproductive. So lift it up here and then extend slightly up without arching the spine. Okay? So be very mindful of every movement. Okay? And see that you're stable. All right? We'll start in three, two, one. Go. 15 repetitions, you can count for yourself. Okay, 15 reps, slow and steady. 15 reps, slow and steady. Do not ask the spine. Keep it stable. So in sync. By the time the knee comes up, you have to press up. Pressing up, breathe out. Shrini sir, no arching. You have to extend back, Shrini sir. Extend back. See, as you're extending, the spine is arching. Which means your glutes are not supporting the back. And your upper body is stable when you go back. Uh, Sandeep Belekar, sir. Exactly. So when you go back, your upper body is also shifting forward. That movement should be avoided. Sandeep Belekar, yeah. Yeah. So try to keep your upper body stable when your leg goes behind. Good job, uh, Akshay. Come on. 15 reps each side. Uh, Sandeep Sakhar said, together, by the time the knee comes up, you should have already pressed up. So, in sync, in sync. Atul sir, together, by the time the knee comes up, it should be in sync. Movement is together always. Hands and legs are moving together. Yeah. And then up together. So, in coordination. Atul sir, it's coming up and then you're waiting. It's like a continuous movement. There's no pause. Yeah, slow, in sync. The legs and the hands should be in sync. Sushma Madam, come on, up quickly. 
15 repetitions each side. So, my madam, stable, stable, stabilize, stabilize, stable again, madam. Come on. All right. That 15 reps each side. Let's wait for everyone to finish. We'll wait for everyone to finish. So the next one, this was an exercise. Okay. Land on the back. Land on the back. Put the on the back. Uh, no, on the back. Put the heels on the ball. Here, basically, here. Sorry. Get your see, friends. Your ball should touch the hamstring curve. Okay. You're grabbing the ball by your uh, heels. Okay. Grabbing the ball by the by the hamstring and the heel. The heel should be here. You know, holding the ball. Now, lift, lift the ball, squeeze the ball hard, squeeze the ball hard here, yeah, as hard as possible. Okay, squeeze the ball hard. Should be really, really, really hard. You shouldn't, you shouldn't never let go of the squeeze. Anybody hits, the ball shouldn't come out. Okay, very important to squeeze this. And then take your kettlebell. Take the kettlebell. Okay, hold both the kettlebell. Okay, and then fully come up and then crunch up. Yeah, fully come up, fully come up and crunch up. One, and then go down into the chest. Up again, crunch up. Two, and this shouldn't come down. They shouldn't touch at any point of time. You should always be here and press hard. Okay? Got it? All right, we'll start. We'll do this for a minute. Okay? In three, actually in five, four, three, two, one, go. Up, press up. For a minute, keep going. The ball at no point should touch the ground. Okay, the ball at no point should touch the ground. Okay, for a minute, every day, engaging the hamstrings, using the core. Very good. Keep pressing up, friends. Excellent. Never let go of it. Never let go of it, friends. Never let go of it. Challenge yourself. Keep squeezing the ball. It's a good exercise, safe exercise for your lower back as well. 30 seconds up, keep breathing up, keep squeezing the ball, keep squeezing the ball, keep squeezing the ball. Halfway, there will be fatigue sitting here. Stronger, stronger, squeeze the ball stronger. From the hamstrings. Breathe out, breathe out. 10 more seconds to go. Five, squeeze the ball wider. Four. Three, two, and one. Yes. Do you feel the hamstring? Yeah. The hamstring, the core. Great. Okay. So next one. Okay. Uh, so we do rowing. How are we going to do rowing? Okay. Um, so we need the double stance for this. Uh, you will go this ball, pass on the ground. Uh, palms on the ground. Your knees, until your knees, go on the swift ball. Until your knees. Put on the swift ball. Until your knees. No, no, fully, fully. Here, until here. Yeah. Come back to the knee. Come back here. Basic way, palms on the ground, go into a plank. Regular, normal way. No, no, no. Uh, come on, come on. Just go into, just go into a plank. Just go into the ball. With, with the ball. Just from oh. here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but cover it until your knees there. All right. Hold it double. Oh, it's your starting position. Come on, other double also. Hold the doubles. Okay, this is starting position. Knee to chest, pull the ball knee to chest, and then back, and then you think you can go. Try, try, try. Okay. Forget the double, leave the double. Leave the double. Forget the double. Come down, leave the double. Okay. Forget the double. Just go into uh, position. All right, friends. This is the exercise we'll do. Okay. Pull knee to chest. Slow. Knee to chest. And then back. And then just try to row without, without the weights. One. Balance. And other side. Without the weights. Balance. Very good. Again, pull. Try. And other side. Very good. 
We'll try this, friends. If you cannot row, you can actually shoulder tap. Can you show shoulder tap? Right? Yeah, if you cannot row, shoulder tap. All right. You may fall down, you may go down, which is absolutely fine. Okay. It's fine to go down, but we'll definitely come out. Okay. We'll start. We'll do this for a minute. In three, two, one, go. First, pull the ball closely and then extend back and then row. One. Very good. Slow. Patience. Patience. And then back for a minute. Keep going. If you cannot row, just try to tap your shoulder. Okay. Bridala, madam, if you go down, come up fast. Don't spend too much of time on the ground. Okay. You may spend a few seconds, one or two seconds on the ground. It's okay. Yeah. Keep going, friends. 30 seconds up. Uh, Kiran sir, try to keep your knee straight. When you row back, I mean, sorry, when you push the ball back, yeah. Push the ball back fully and then keep the knee straight. Sanjay Badal sir, come on. Stable. Very good. Very good, sir. Asha madam, good job. Five, four, three, two, and one. We'll go back to a previous exercise. Get the ball. Very good. Grab the ball with your heels. Anushabdam, let everybody. Is everyone ready? We'll start in another five seconds. In five, four, three, two, one. Up. Go. Timer started. Keep pressing up. Keep pressing the ball hard and keep pressing up for a minute. Keep pressing up, up, keep pressing up. Very good. Very good, uh, Prabhakar. Prabhakar, you have to crunch up. You have to look at the crunch. You have to go down, come up. Your neck has to touch when you're coming up. You're crunching and then pressing. Then touch the neck down. Touch the Prabhakar, touch the neck down. When you come up, crunch up. Yeah, when you come up, crunch up. Yeah. The ball shouldn't move, Prabhakar. The ball should be, the ball is where it is. Very good, uh, Shilpa Madam. Try to squeeze the ball hard. Sanjay Ramakrishna sir, very good. Take your time, take your time. Keep pressing. 40 seconds up. Keep going. Come on, Devika. Press harder. Devika, the ball has shouldn't touch the ground. Renga sir, come on. Hawaii sir, come on. Keep going. Five, four, three, Two and one. All right. You start? Yeah, you start. In five, four, three, two, one, go. Pull the ball slow. Pull the ball, go back. Now use your core. Engage your core. Slowly row. One. Patiently. Come on. Other side. Even if you do eight reps in one minute, it's fantastic, friends. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. So when you go back, stay there. Stabilize first. First find stability. And then row. Yeah. And then row. Even if you do six to eight, it's fantastic. Don't be in a rush. And when you extend back, extend back fully without bending the knees. With 35 seconds into it, keep going. Extend back fully without bending the knees. Extend back fully. 15 more seconds to go. Stabilize, stabilize. Dhiran sir, good job sir. Very good. Slow and steady sir. Five. Four, three, two, and one. All right. Done with four seconds. Okay. Done with two seconds. Okay. Two seconds. Uh, 
sorry, pick the double, double, both of these, both of these. All right, go, go to squat. Just, just hold the dumbbell there. Pick up your dumbbell. No need to press up. Go to squat. Raise your heels up. No, go to squat. Raise your heels up. Come up. One. Touch down. Again, down. Up. Two. Down. Up. Yes. Okay, we'll do it for a minute. In three, two. No need to press up. Pick up your BS dumbbell. In three, two, one. Go. Go into squat. Raise your heel up. And then come up. One. Keep going. For a minute. Go down. Raise your heel up. If, when you go down, when you go down, that is when you do raise your heel up. Deepak. Deepak Sati. When you go down, just watch. Now the heel is raised. When you're coming up, you're coming up on toes. Okay. When you're coming up, you're coming up on toes. And when you're holding the dumbbell, you're tucking your elbows in. Tuck your elbows in. Yeah. Uh, David, don't go down so deep. Sandeep Sakra said, just a half squat. Do not go down very deep. Yeah. Rajesh said, you can go down a little more. 10 more seconds to go. Five, four. Surely try to keep your upper body not bend too forward. Three, two, and one. Relax. All right. So the next one, take a bit more. Okay. Now the challenge for us here is uh, just can you, can you go down, touch down, drop the ball down. Go, go down, go down fully. Go down, go down fully. Drop the ball down, pick up. And then up, and then up. And then press up and then down. Okay. So watch your friends here. When you go down, of course, Deepa is dropping the dumbbell down. So now here, you can just bend your knees slightly. Just slide. There's a very light bend. That's it. Okay. So, so much better. And then pick up. And then bring it up. And then press it up. Okay. So go down. And then drop the ball down. And then up. Okay. We'll do about one minute each side. So again, Watch, go to do one more rep. When you extend back, your legs have to extend back as much as possible. Okay, this extension is very important here. Okay, this is important for better stride length. Okay, the better you extend, the better the stride length for you. Okay, we'll start a minute each side in three, two, one, go. Finish one side and then we go slowly. Just watch. Okay, even the, the upper back is not slouching, the upper back is straight. When you go down, do not slouch. Exactly. That's good enough. Just drop down. Even if you have a kettlebell or dumbbell, it's fine. You can just keep it and pick it up. Keep going. 15 seconds up. And ensure that when you come up, your foot also is up. When you come up, exactly you're finishing the entire movement. You're lifting the foot up also. Halfway there, 30 seconds up. Keep going. Don't, do not bend your knee too much. Just a very, I mean, it's not a bend. It's just keeping your knees soft and not locking it. That's it. If you do not lock the knee, just bend right enough. Keep going. Three more seconds. Prabhakar, come on. Five, four, three, two, and one. Other side. We'll start other side. Other side. Your time has started now. Come on. One minute. Slow and steady. Go down. Go down. Stabilize. The body only. That leg has to move and the hand has to move. Other leg should be rock solid stable. That also tests your stability and the strength in your glutes. Srini said, back leg has to extend up. Back leg has to extend up. Straight. Yeah. And do not slouch. So what you're trying to do is do not slouch. Yeah. Do not use too much of your upper back. Try, try to use the hamstrings to go down. This exercise test is to test your, is to test the length of hamstrings. Halfway there, come on friends. 
30 seconds up. Going down is testing the length of the hamstrings. If the hamstrings are tight, it will be a challenge to go down. Good job, Surabhi. Nice and steady. Very good. Try to lift your foot up, Surabhi, a little more. 10 more seconds. Surabhi, get your foot up more. Surabhi, Surabhi, get your foot up more. Yeah. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax. Okay. Squat. Yeah, squat. We'll go back. The squat. Okay, just half squat is good enough. Just go down, half squat. Raise your heels up and then come up. We'll start in five, four, three, two, one, go. Raise your heels up and then come up. Keep going. Go down. Raise your heels as high as possible. Yeah. Raise your heels as high as possible. This exercise targets, you know, people with heel pain also prevents heel pain. So raise your, raise your heels as high as possible. Lower your calves and soleus. When you go down, when you raise your heels high in this position, it particularly works on your soleus rather than just standing and raising your heels up and down. Go down, raise your heels up, 30 seconds up and then up. Ashok sir, you're going too much down. Just a half squat. Ashok sir, Aste Sakur. Ashok sir. Half squat is good enough. 10 more seconds. Yeah. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right. We'll go back to single leg. Good morning. Always, friends, try to recover fast. Um, you know, when, when we work out, um, you know, we, we keep seeing how fast a person recovers. All right. And that definitely transfers to your running. I've seen that, um, you know, people who recover faster between sets, they're, they're generally a lot more habit and endurance. So use, um, you know, uh, time to recover faster. Basically 15 seconds, you have to be up and your breathing also determines. Okay. So quick recovery. I am, I'm a believer that 15 seconds recover and next exercise. We'll start in three, two, one, go. For a minute. And focus on your breathing. Go down, breathe, breathe in, come out, breathe out. Lifting up, breathe out. Shruti madam, very good. Try to bring your knee to the chest, Shruti madam. Ashok sir, excellent, good job. Deepak, stabilize, Deepak, stabilize. Devika, come on. Rahul Babli, slow and steady, slow and steady. Take your time, Rahul. Asha, madam, very nice. Street, sir, very nice. Keep going. 40 seconds up only. Kiran, sir, very good. Inno sulpa kere dogi, sir. Inno, 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 okay. Elbow straight, Madi. Super. Ah, Iga mele, buddy. Aruna Shankar, good one, good one. Keep going. 10 more seconds to go. Sanjay Balat, sir, come on. Very nice. Five. Good job, Suresh. Four, three, two, one. Excellent. Other side. We'll start in five. Four, three, two, one. Go. So back leg extend. Just you know, keep an eye on your back leg. When you go down, focus on how your hip opens up. The better your back leg opens up, better the stride length. Keep going, friends. Keep going. Stride length is very important. Um, a point one stride length improves your marathon timing by 10 minutes. Point one, 0 0.1 stride length. For example, uh, um, let's say um, a 3.30 marathon, my stride length would be 1. A 3.20 would be at 1.1. 1 .1. A three three ten is, is like one point two or three, yeah. And at and three to three or five, it's about one point three five. So stride length comes from stronger flexors. 
you need to open up and he flexor support by the glutes. So this is very important. Five, four, three, two, and one. Last two exercises before we wrap up. So let's give our best. We can take the dead ball or the can take the dead ball. Here. Okay. The first thing is we can stand up. When you do, when you do a forward lunge, you hold the ball. When you do a forward lunge, push the ball forward. Do a forward lunge, push the ball forward. And now same leg, reverse lunge. Push to push the. I mean, rotate. Right up one. Okay, forward and then same leg, reverse lunge. Coach Zipa is rotating on the side where the leg is forward. Now she is rotating on the light on the on the left. Right, on the left. Because the left yeah, leg is okay. forward. Okay. So now when you when when can you do the forward lunge again? So when you do the forward lunge, you have to do with force. Forward force, yeah, up and then back. And then go back again. Rotate. Again, up. Force. Yeah. Force. Yeah. All right. We'll start the legs. We do about one minute each side. Okay. We do a minute each side. We'll start in three, two, one. Time has started. Go forward. Force. Very good. Back. Stabilize. Go back. Take your time. Take your time. And up. Stabilize. And then back. And rotate. Keep going. 15 seconds up. When you rotate, even your neck has to rotate, friends. Your neck and your shoulder has to rotate. Shivakumar, sir. Excellent. Pushpandarji, excellent. If you do not, if you're struggling with the ball, just do it without without it. It's okay. So just to get a hang of it. Come on, Prabhakar. Good one. Sandeep, sir, come on. Nidhi, madam, open the strides as much as possible. Open the strides. When you go behind, open up. When you come forward, open up. Express yourself. Open up every fiber, every tendon, open up. Every muscle fiber should open up. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Oh, Other side. Other side. Start in three, two, one, go. Keep going. Very good, Shilpa, madam. Come on. Atul, sir, good job. Shilpa, madam, very nice. Shrini sir, open up motion. Shrini sir, back leg is not lunging. Back leg is not, back leg, back knee has to go down. Yeah. Back knee has to go down as much as possible. Hang in there, friends. Nidhi madam, come on. Nidhi madam, it's fine. It hurts. It pains, but it's okay. Come on. Keep going. You have to only get stronger. 20 more seconds to go. David, slow and steady, David. Don't be in a rush. Slow, stabilize. Rajesh Prasad, sir, come on. Very good. Press forward. Prasad, sir, come on. Five, four, three, two, and one. Done both the sides? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, pick up the double, man. Pick up the double. Pick up the double. Go into squat position. Okay. Slight squat hops. Just hop in squat position. Hop. Out or up? Just up and up. Hop. One. Two. All right. Come on. Okay. If you're struggling with the dumbbell, you can pick up the dead ball. But I would prefer the dumbbell. Okay. Prefer the dumbbell or you can take the smaller dumbbell. Okay. Yeah, take the smaller dumbbell. Okay. Dumbbell, sit. Okay, hop. All right. We'll do 30 seconds of hops, then I'll tell you what to do. Okay. We'll start in three, two, one, go. Start. Fast hops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 
17, 18, 19, 20, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Semi squat and quick feet. Quick feet. 1, 2, 3, 4. Come on, come on. 5, 6, semi squat. 7, Matalata, semi squat. 8, 9, 10. Do not give up. 11, 12. There we go. Come on. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 10, 9. Rahul slightly better knees. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax. Uh, Rahul Bhavle, next time, wear shoes. You know, for these workouts, you need to wear shoes. If not, it's going to hurt the ball of the feet. Okay, wear shoes. We'll go back. We'll repeat these two exercises and then wrap up press. Last two minutes, last three minutes, in fact, we're done. We'll start in three. 15 seconds done in three, two, one, go. Reverse lunge, forward lunge, forward back, reverse lunge, rotate. Basarat sir, come on. Very good. Stabilize, stabilize. Don't be in a rush. Take your time. Like I said, even if you do six reps, good enough. 20 seconds up. Keep going. Very good. Shilpa madam, you have to rotate other side. On Shilpa, Shilpa madam. You have to rotate. Ah, yeah. Very good. Naranaju sir, coming forward, open the strikes more. Yeah. 40 seconds up, 20 more seconds to go. Everybody is doing great. Give your best because this is your last set. The finish line should bring the best out of you. The side of the finish line should bring the best out of you. Come on. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Other side. We'll start in 3, 2, 1, go. Forward and then back and then rotate. Rotation is using of obliques. Forward. When you step forward, that is where it's even more challenging to open the strikes. So consciously open the strikes and step forward. Yeah. Open up more strikes. 30 seconds up. Almost there. When you come forward, see to that your back leg is also is bent and is close to the ground. Shruti madam, come on. You're almost there. Very good. Keep going. 15 more seconds to go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right. We'll go back. 15 seconds to recover, 5 seconds up, and then more seconds will start. The next exercise in 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Let go. 1, 2, 3, faster, faster, 4, faster, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Less time on the ground. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Quick feet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, plus 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And that's it, friends. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the session. I hope you enjoyed the session, Coach Madam. Yes. I think it's really hot today. Um, if you have time, if you have time now, just two minutes job, you know, just like a two minutes slow job, usually after a strength session, it's always recommended to jog for two minutes. If you can't jog, at least walk for two. No worries. Two minutes? Two kilometers. So if you have time, two kilometers jog. If you do not have, it's totally fine. With our thought friends, have a great day. And thank you, Madam. Thanks, Marco. We will see you on Friday. Thank you. Thank you, friends. Have a great day.